Hello and welcome to my Cyber Patriot training round one uh, virtual machine. So we're going to open up the README and show the scenario for this competition. So basically, we're working for a company that wants us to secure this VM, secure this operating system. One of the things that it wants us to do is have everything password protected uh, so with secure passwords. Um, we can't have any hacking tools, so we need to remove any of those if there are. And only authorized users. And we can't update it. Okay, so now that we read the scenario, we go to the... Okay, so one of the first things I'm going to show that I did was how to change the interactive logon to not display the last person who is signed in. So to do that, we're going to press Windows button and R, bring up the run. Then we're going to do secpol.msc. Then it brings this up. Uh, from here, we're going to go to local policies, then we're going to go to security options, and then a bunch of these things are important, but this one's the one we're going to show. So, boom, don't display last signed in, and then we make sure it's enabled so you can't see who signed in before you, so that's an important one. Okay, now let's show... The next one, let's show how to remove unwanted programs. So you go to control panel, and then you can go to programs, programs and features. And from here, you can see everything that's installed. And if you wanted to, you could remove anything. I already removed the programs that were malicious hacking software, so I won't be removing anything here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show is something with the user's passwords. So we can make sure they all have passwords, are all secure. So we go into control panel, go to user accounts, change, pa change account type. And then we can make sure they all are password protected, except for the account I'm signed into right now because it says not to give that a password. So we can make sure all the right users are here and change things however we wanted to by doing like that, going to change account type. I already did that, so I'm not going to actually change the account type. And then the last thing I'm going to show for things we did was, uh, so I oh, didn't mean to click that. So Windows R and then G editor.msc gonna click yes on that now we're gonna go to computer configuration we're gonna go to administrative templates we're gonna go to windows components then in here we're gonna go to remote desktop services so yep then we're gonna go to session host and connections, and right here we can and right here we can make sure that this is disabled and we can disable it. And then that'll make sure that no one can sign into this using a remote desktop. So now I'm gonna open the scoring report that shows everything that we did and show some of the stuff that I didn't tell you about. So we turned off and disabled the TCP and IP services. We updated Firefox. Uh, there's the removed password cracker, the hacking tool. Removed Nmap, that's a hacking tool. 
removed unauthorized files that shouldn't have been there. Uh, we turned on the firewall. There's the remote desktop sharing turned off that I just showed you. Uh, don't display last signed in that I just showed you. Um, the, the audit credential validation we made sure was success. Uh, we made sure a sufficient password history was being kept and that there was a minimum password length required. Uh, we made sure all users had a password, made sure insecure passwords were not there, made sure that the right users were administrators and removed accounts that just shouldn't be there. And then the forensic questions, which were just questions we answered. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.